y'all. I'm Elisa, the Scrappy Wife, and I am here for Creative Retreat Kits, working through the August Creative Faith Box, Amazing Grace, and I am loving this devotional. It is so wonderful. Just the angles, the very really personal um, stories that you get in this devotional are fantastic. And I'm going to be journaling today in John 13, 34, a new command I give you, love one another as I have loved you, so you must love one another. And I'm going to do a mixed media process. I am working in the Illuminated Scripture Journal, which you can buy by the book of the Bible. So this is the book of John, and it does have some images in it, and I'm going to use some mixed media to cover up the image that's already there. Of course, you can simply journal around this, but I just wanted to change it up a little bit. I will also be using some acrylic paint, the stamps from the kit, and we will see what else comes into this layout. I will list all of the supplies down below, just like always, and list where you can pick up this devotion if you haven't picked it up yet. Otherwise, I'll put you on fast forward. Let's go. I'm gonna start off using this wax paper, just regular wax paper from my kitchen and the washi tape that comes with the kit. And I'm gonna use it to create a mask, which is basically like a big sticker that is going to cover up part of my page so that when I do mixed media over the top of where that sticker is, then the mixed media won't go through. And so I'll end up with um, this negative space, the space that doesn't have paint on it. And that will pull focus to the main journaling, the main idea of what I want to capture in this entry. So I put my washi tape on the paper. The washi tape overlaps each strip so that when I cut it, it will act like one big sticker. So what I'm doing is going to just sketch out a heart right here using a pencil and then cut it out with scissors. Um, the reason I overlapped the wax paper in the back is it just makes it easier to pull off that sticker image than if you put it straight on the wax paper. It does work by just putting it on the wax paper, but it can get tricky to pull off the image that you're working with. So I like to do the overlap just so that it um, makes it easier to remove that sticker. So I'm just cutting along the line and you'll see I have a big old heart sticker ready to go down on my page. This is a great way to create your own stickers. In this case, mine is just gonna end up with paint and I'll end up taking it off. But it is a great technique for getting more use out of your washi and making your own stickers for your pages. I do have to trim down this heart several times. So I'm wanting it to be in the negative space, the clear space. I don't want it to overlap with that word love at all because that word is going to end up being covered up. But I can't really figure out a good place for it. I want it to be a little bit off center, meaning not like lined up straight in the middle of the page, but it didn't feel right just over to the side. And so I end up going with the top and I just push it up a little bit. You'll see I just trim it a little bit. Now I'm pulling off the wax paper and now it's a big sticker and I will just place it here at the top of my page very carefully because I want it to lay flat. And then I am able to come over the top with some mixed media and it will keep the section clear of paint. So it's just protecting my page. I am focusing here on the passage in John 13 when Jesus issues a new commandment and it says, a new commandment I give to you, that you love one another just as I have loved you. You also are to love one another. And I wanted to capture the feeling that this love that Jesus commands us is not easy. It's not clean. Sometimes it's messy. Sometimes it's hard. Sometimes it's feels out of control, out of our control, but we're still called to love one another, to um, love in the same way that Jesus loved us. And if you think about it, he gave his life for us. And so that is a big love that can be a messy love. And so that's why mixed media kind of came to mind when I was working through this particular devotional. I've uh, pulled out some acrylic paints. I'm using the ones from Jane Davenport. You can use any acrylic paints in your stash. And I just used some that blended together. I love 
love that the gold I'm using has a metallic feel and the other colors are flat. That really ends up creating a cool look when it's dry. You can see I'm being really messy. I want my brush strokes to kind of blend together, nothing planned, just kind of mixing and matching. And then I'm actually going to pull in a little bit of dark blue. This is kind of a blue that's in the kit. And when I initially put it down, I was like, oh my goodness, that is super dark. It jumped out way too much. I wasn't at all prepared for what it was going to look like. So I'm just going to come back over and use some of the other paint to bring it down a notch to take off a little bit of the harshness and I was really pleased with how it worked out in the end. Once I went over the top and blended it out just a little bit, um, it, it does end up blending into the page and working pretty well for me. Now that I have my base layer for my background down, you can see I'm just going to very carefully remove that washi tape sticker and I'm left with that heart impression and the very cool background and that is going to um, really set the tone for the rest of my page. I will take it and use my heat drying tool to make sure that it's thoroughly dry before I start working on it again. And I'm gonna keep up with the acrylic paints and I'm gonna use my acrylic paints with these clear stamps. And all you have to do for this is brush a little bit of the paint onto the stamp just like that. You are not gonna get a super crisp, clean impression, but I, again, was going for messy and I loved being able to include the music notes because of the amazing grace theme and the thought of that song of course is just beautiful and the amazing grace we're given by God is something that I love to focus on continually. So bringing in the music notes and a few of the other elements from different stamps. When you are using the acrylic paint on stamps, you want to make sure that you have baby wipes or some water on hand to get the stamps really clean right after. You don't want the acrylic paint to dry on your stamps or else you're going to end up with stamps that don't give you the crisp clear image that you are used to. So make sure when you're changing mediums like that, that you really give your stamps a thorough cleaning. The last stamp that I'm going to use in this background is the hand drawn flower. And I'm going to bring back in that dark blue, even though I was a little bit scared of it. But for that one, I'm definitely using some generations of the stamping just so it's not as intense. And actually, I think bringing in a little bit more blue kind of normalizes the blue strokes in the background. And I like how it ended up looking on the page. I was really pleased with this background. It was fun to do and I think it really does bring focus to the heart which is where I want to put the main part of my journaling. All right this time I'm using the washi tape for real for the real purpose of decorating the page and it is going to set off the word love and I'm going to have love put on this page twice because it is the main focus of this passage. I love these alpha stickers that look like little typewriter keys. They are just so adorable. So I'm putting the word love at the top and at the bottom and it will um, connect the two ends of my journaling because I'm gonna come in with some hand lettering and fill it in. It's going to say love with an overwhelming, never ending, reckless, love. And I love that song um, that's so popular. And I was listening to it as we were, as I was Bible journaling this entry. And I think it is just perfect because the type of love we're called to, like I said, it's not easy. It's never ending. It's reckless. And that's the type of love that God loves us with. And that is what we're called to do for others. And like I said, it's not easy, especially with people that we don't agree with. And these are such divisive times, but really if you lead with love, if you put love first, instead of judging others first, then, um, then you're doing the work of Jesus here on earth. Now that I have written out the title with a pencil, I'm going to come back in with my hand lettering pen. This is sped up. So if you're wondering about hand lettering and how long it takes, um, I, I try to go nice and slow. I never want to rush it. So this is sped up a pretty good amount. So you don't have to watch me hand letter this over and over <laughs> for the next 15 minutes, but it's about four times as fast as I would normally go. Um, so if you're working on your hand lettering, it, it does take time. It does come slowly, at least for me. I know some might be more comfortable and can go a little bit faster, but for me, I have to take my time. I did make sure to let everything dry this time around. And now I'm going to just erase those extra pencil marks. And I have the main part of my 
entry done. And now I get to embellish with stickers, which is one of my favorite things to do. So I will open the pack and the first sticker I knew I wanted was this one that said, love everybody always. And I'm gonna use it to kind of create a line on my page. It'll be from the top left to that middle right. And I have some of the wonky hearts that I love with Creative Retreat and I'm mixing and matching those around. And then I'm gonna end up pulling a couple more stickers that say Amazing Grace, and I will layer those up at the top as well, just to change things up a little bit. I do come in, my hearts were kind of blending because of the busy background, and so I decided to outline them with my Micron pen. That was a little bit tricky over the washi tape because this pen is not really meant to write on slick surfaces, but it still worked. It worked just fine because it was only a little bit on the washi tape that overlapped. So just tracing those hearts and looking through the stickers and figuring out what else I wanted to um, bring in. And you can see I have the word amazing and I'm going to pick the word grace because I really want to incorporate that as well. And I love the simplicity of the page because really it's not a lot over there, but the artwork was fun to do the mixed media and I love the representation behind it. It's not just mixed media for mixed media sake. For me, it was representing um, the type of love I feel like we really are called to. Now I'm just going to pick a few of the stickers and bring them over to the left side of the page because I want to make sure that um, attention is brought to the verse that I'm journaling. So I'll just use stickers to layer over there. And I think that is one of my favorite parts about these kits is that you have so many stickers to choose from and the sizing works really well, especially in uh, the scripture journal that I am loving working in. I am loving just the mixing and matching of different fonts that are going on, especially uh, with all the word Fetty stickers this month. And I'm mixing them in with this really cute typewriter alpha and I will um, add the phrase be reckless in love over there on the left just to again capture what I was going for I was going to do love in those alphas and then I decided oh wait there is a love sticker and I'm going to use that and that is the end of this page Thank you so much for joining me today. All of the supplies are linked down below if you're interested in checking those out. I hope that you are enjoying the August Faith Art Box. I know that I am. I hope you have a fabulous day and as always, keep it creative.